Hi, it's Jordan Hetrick, author of best-selling books on how to use GoPro cameras. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to film GoPro Hero 10 cinematic nature shots. These top nature subjects are some of my favorites to get GoPro cinematic content. I think these cinematic subjects will give you some great ideas for your next video. I'll be using the GoPro Hero 10 in this video to give you ideas on how to capture cinematic footage of nature. But you can also use these tips for the GoPro Hero 9, Hero 8, Hero 7, whatever GoPro you're using, these tips are gonna work for you. But I'm just gonna show you how to get GoPro Hero 10 cinematic footage. You guys have been asking for this video for a while now, so I'm really happy to give you this video. No matter where you are in your GoPro journey, this video is gonna be really helpful for you because along the way I'm gonna give you tons of GoPro cinematic tips and tricks so you can get the best films possible. We're gonna jump into all of that in just a second, but go ahead and give this video a like. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and make sure to hit that notifications bell so you can be notified of new videos coming up. Thank you for doing all these things. It really helps the YouTube algorithm and I appreciate you so, so much. If you need anything from me at all, it's always included in the video description below, including my book for your camera, which has everything you need to know in one place, my classes and any products I've used in this video. Okay, let's look at five of the best GoPro Hero 10 cinematic filming subjects in nature. These are gonna add so much beauty to your videos, so let's check them out. Coming in at number five and my favorite GoPro cinematic subjects in nature is foliage. You know, all the plants that are around us, all that beauty, all the green, it's gonna add a lot to your videos. And there's a lot you can do with your GoPro camera to get great cinematic footage of foliage. Plants also help create the mood for your environment because wherever you're at, there's different types of plants. So these kind of really go into your video and give people a feel of where you're at. When you're out in nature and you're filming plants, you can really use the stillness of those plants and create movement with your camera so your shots look cinematic. And because the plants are so still, any movement you create is really gonna add some magic to your shots. When you're out filming cinematic shots with your GoPro camera, it's really important to look for a good lighting. And when you're filming in plants, you can really utilize that lighting to create some moody shots. So because plants are often densely grown together, as you move your GoPro through the plants, you can look for shaded areas and light areas. And as you do, this is gonna create light leaks that really add a lot of mood to your shots. So definitely check that out when you're out there in the plants filming with your GoPro. A GoPro camera works really well to create the cinematic movement through plants because of the in-camera stabilization. So you can really use that to your advantage to get smooth, stabilized shots as you move through the foliage. These tips are for GoPro cinematic videos, but if you're on the lookout for GoPro photography tips, I recently just dropped a video about my five favorite GoPro photography tips that are gonna help you out to get better GoPro photos. So I'll put that down in the link below. You can check that out after this video if you're interested in getting some more photography info. The fourth subject that are really gonna make your GoPro cinematic videos stand out are night skies. Now GoPro cameras in general aren't very great at night video, but there are some modes on here that you can use to capture really amazing night footage. And one of those is night lapse mode. So I really recommend that you learn how to use night lapse mode. If you don't know how to use it, I obviously have a lot of tips in my book that give you exactly what you need to know to capture great night lapses. And I also have a day to night time lapse video. I'll link both of those down there in the video description below. But you wanna capture some really nice night lapses. You can show the stars moving. You can create a lot of really cool things that are kind of hard to capture with any other camera. And GoPros are great at doing this. Since night lapses are taken over a long period of time, you're basically gonna keep your camera still and then create cinematic movements when you go to edit your videos. But you can mix these in in between shots and just kind of give a mood and create a sense of place for your travel videos and any other videos that you wanna create. And I just hope that gives you some ideas for the way to add in these night lapses into your cinematic GoPro videos. Because the sensor is so big on the GoPro Hero 10 Black and also the Hero 9, you can record really great vertical time lapses. And then when you go to edit those, you can actually create a lot of movement throughout those for some more cinematic effects. As you're out there, just definitely remember to capture some great night lapses and really get to know that mode because it's a really powerful one. The third nature subject that you should film with your GoPro camera, which is one of everyone's favorites, is sunsets. Now these can be a bit played out, but if you film them creatively, you can get some really nice cinematic shots. One of the best things about sunsets and actually sunrise too is what's called magic hour in cinematography or a golden hour in photography. And the lighting is really amazing during this golden hour. This is where you can get some really cinematic looking lighting. Sometimes the lighting can be a little dim during the golden hour. So your stabilization on the camera can have a little bit of a weird effects sometimes. And this is the one time of the day where you might wanna use a gimbal if you're filming a lot of sunsets and sunrises. Just because of that low lighting, you really wanna get that beautiful color, but 
The low light sometimes doesn't allow enough light for a good stabilization on your GoPro Hero 10 or any of the other GoPros for that matter. I'll put a link to a gimbal that works well with the Hero 10 in the video description below. They're kind of expensive, but if you want to check it out, sometimes it's worthwhile depending on how much you're filming and how many GoPro cinematic shots you're trying to get. That being said, sunset is such an amazing time of day. Anytime you're thinking about shots, and if you think about they can work at sunset or sunrise, then I suggest that you go do it because it's going to make a big difference in the quality of your video and it's going to make it look that much more cinematic. If you're not using a gimbal, you can always set your camera on a tripod or just set it down somewhere stationary and that's not going to have any weird stabilization effects and you can still get those magical sunset shots. At number two, the clouds are a great thing to film for your GoPro cinematic shots. Now we spend so much time looking down, oftentimes we forget to look up, but when you do, you can see some amazing things. And GoPro cameras are great at capturing cloud time lapses where you can really see the cloud action accentuated. So I definitely recommend you do this. Now how you do that is you use time lapse mode and you set your camera still to allow the action to be happening with the clouds and not with your camera. And when you go in to edit your clips, you can create movement using the editing software rather than you actually moving the camera. And these are just great filler for in-between shots, but they really do add a lot of cinematic qualities to your videos. So check out the clouds and don't forget to look up. This is probably not a big surprise for many of you subscribers, but number one is water. And I love filming the water, whether it's oceans, rivers, or lakes, water just makes me feel refreshed. And it also has a lot of qualities that you can use to create cinematic videos. There's a lot of movement within water, so sometimes that you can create the movement with your camera, and sometimes you can just let the ocean or the river create the movement, and it's gonna have its own cinematic quality right there within it. One of the great qualities about a GoPro camera is that it's got great slow motion settings. So when you're filming GoPro cinematic shots with your Hero 10, make sure to set that camera to the slow motion settings. And when you film the water, you can really capture the fluidity of that water in super slow motion. And that's gonna give you a nice cinematic look. I'm sure a lot of you know how to create slow motion, but if you don't, I recently dropped a video on how to create ultra slow motion. And I'll put a link for that video down in the description below so you can watch that one after you watch this one if you're so inclined. But I definitely think you'll enjoy that video. It's pretty entertaining and there's some nice super slow motion clips in there that you can do that too. And that will definitely help your GoPro cinematic videos. Now because a GoPro is waterproof already, you don't even need to worry about a waterproof case unless you're going deeper than 33 feet deep with the Hero 10. Then you can get the waterproof case if you're diving and stuff. And even if you're deeper, you can create those cinematic shots. So being able to create cinematic shots underwater or on the surface of the water is gonna make your videos look really, really nice. If you're by the water and you have your GoPro camera, jump in there and get wet, have fun and get some great cinematic shots while you're doing it. Let me know if there's anything that you guys need help on, if there's something you're getting stuck on. I would love to help out and I'd love your ideas of what you want to learn and what you need help with. So leave a comment down below and maybe I can whip up a video for that and see if I can help you out. If you're interested in picking up any of these products I use to create these GoPro cinematic videos or my books or classes, the links are all down in the description below and they're nice and easy and organized so I place them in the order of appearance in the video here. Just go ahead and let me know if you pick some up and what you think of those products. If you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. It really does help the algorithm and it helps my channel and helps this video to get to other people like you so they can also learn. I really appreciate you guys so, so much and I appreciate you taking the time to do that. If you really get out there and you film cinematic shots with these subjects that I talked about, your videos are gonna look so much more beautiful and you're gonna have so much more content to fill in the gaps there. And I think it's just gonna be great. So I'm glad you watched this video. Thank you so much and until next time, have fun.